talking with Mel Holtz, uh, spokesman for Frenchtown Fire. I understand uh, folks are uh, trying to play dodgeball with animals out there on the on the interstate. What's going on? Yeah, boy, over the last three days, we've responded to two wrecks involving uh, animals, uh, both elk. We had actually a fairly large uh, um, bull uh, across the interstate out by Houston, or actually just past, um, sorry, Peter, can I start over? Oh, go right ahead, you bet. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, over the last several days, we've responded to two accidents involving animals. Uh, the last one, which was a bull elk crossing the road, um, semi-truck driver tried to avoid a collision, ended up uh, rolling his truck on the side. So a um, lot, of, lot of activity. Uh, it's a pretty major area out there in that nine-mile area uh, for animals. So we're definitely urging the, the public to slow down and use caution in that area. Do you, do you happen to know if that uh, part of the road is posted? Is it signed to watch for animals? Uh, no, it's not. You know, the interesting part with the, the uh, change in speed uh, to 80 miles an hour, I guess we'll see if there's, you know, a few more accidents that are happening in that area. Uh, last year, because of all the activity, the Department of Transportation did put temporary signs out there, and we're working with them to see if they can do that again this year. Was anybody badly injured in, in any either of these accidents? No, we were able to um, remove the windshield and get the passenger of that, uh, excuse me, the driver of that semi out, and they were uninjured. Okay. Now, when it comes to strategy, <laughs> when you're driving down the road and you see an animal, uh, is is it wiser just just to go ahead and hit it, or rather than trying to avoid it and rolling over, or or, or is is there any is there any sort of strategy involved there? Yeah, you know, that's a tough decision, uh, especially with, you know, in this case, the bull uh, uh, elk was a fairly large animal. So uh, obviously you're you're wanting to not roll your vehicle, uh, if at all possible, to slightly swerve and miss it. But at that point, you know, you risk uh, getting out of control and and rolling your vehicle. So uh, just applying the brakes as quick as possible, and that might be, you know, in fact, actually hitting hitting it um, instead of trying to avoid hitting it. Yeah, uh, continuing my conversation with Mel Holtz, and I understand that whenever there's a, a, an accident and, and an animal is killed, what happens to the animal? Yeah, talking with Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, there's actually a salvage tag that you can go online uh, and print off and or purchase. And so if you do come upon uh, a roadkill animal, uh, you can actually tag that animal and, and remove that. So that, that bull was actually uh, claimed pretty quickly.